Once upon a time, in a village long, long ago, there lived a clever tortoise and a cheerful bird. The villagers loved them very much. Tortoise had a big shell and moved slowly, but he was very wise. Bird had bright feathers and could fly high in the sky, singing beautiful songs. In this village, Tortoise had an important job. He would tell the villagers about anything that was going to happen. If rain was coming or if there was a big celebration, Tortoise always knew and told everyone. Bird had a special job too. She would fly over the village bush and watch over the villagers while they worked. She made sure everyone was safe and happy. Please subscribe to the channel for more captivating and interactive African reality stories. One sunny day, Tortoise and Bird noticed something strange. The sky turned dark and the wind started to blow very hard. Tortoise slowly walked to the middle of the village and called out, Listen everyone, something is coming, we must be careful. The villagers gathered around Tortoise. They knew he was wise and always told the truth. Bird flew down from the sky and landed next to Tortoise. She chirped, I saw something in the bush. It looked like a big storm. We need to get ready. The villagers trusted Tortoise and Bird. They quickly started to prepare their homes and gather their animals. Tortoise showed them how to make their houses strong. Bird flew around, making sure everyone was safe and had enough food. As the storm got closer, the sky grew even darker. The wind howled and rain began to fall. But the villagers were not afraid. They knew they had their friends, Tortoise and Bird, to help them. Tortoise stayed with the villagers, telling them stories to keep them calm. Bird sang sweet songs to make everyone happy. The storm was strong, but the villagers felt safe because they were ready. Finally, the storm passed and the sky became bright and sunny again. The villagers cheered and thanked Tortoise and Bird. They were so grateful for their wise friends. But then Tortoise noticed something else. He saw footprints in the mud leading into the deep forest. Tortoise looked at Bird and said, we must find out who made these footprints. There might be more danger ahead. Bird nodded and flew up into the sky. She followed the footprints while Tortoise slowly walked behind. They knew they had to protect their village from any harm. And so Tortoise and Bird went on a new adventure, ready to save the villagers once again. Tortoise and Bird followed the footprints into the deep, dark forest. The trees were tall and the bushes were thick. Bird flew above, keeping an eye on everything from the sky, while Tortoise moved slowly but surely on the ground. As they went deeper into the forest, Bird chirped down to Tortoise, I see something ahead, it looks like a big cave. Tortoise nodded and kept moving forward. When they reached the cave, they saw that the footprints led inside. Tortoise looked up at Bird and said, we need to be very careful. There might be something dangerous in there. Bird flew down and perched on Tortoise's back. Don't worry, Tortoise, I'm here with you. We can do this together. Slowly, they entered the cave. It was dark and cold inside. They could hear strange noises echoing through the walls. Tortoise and Bird stayed close to each other, moving deeper into the cave. Suddenly, they saw a pair of glowing eyes in the darkness. It was a big, scary lion. The lion growled and stepped forward, showing his sharp teeth. Tortoise and Bird were frightened, but they knew they had to protect their village. Bird flew up and said, Mr. Lion, why are you in our forest? What do you want? The lion growled again and said, I am hungry. I was looking for food when the storm came. Now I am lost and can't find my way back home. Tortoise looked at the lion and said, If you promise not to harm our village, we can help you find your way home. The lion thought for a moment and then nodded. I promise. Please help me. Tortoise and Bird guided the lion out of the cave and through the forest. Bird flew ahead, showing the way while Tortoise talked to the lion, telling him stories to keep him calm. After a long walk, they reached the edge of the forest. The lion saw his home in the distance and was very happy. He thanked Tortoise and Bird for their help. 
Remember your promise, mister? Lion Tortoise said. I will never forget, the lion replied. I will always be your friend. The lion went back to his home and Tortoise and Bird returned to their village. The villagers were waiting for them, worried but hopeful. When they saw Tortoise and Bird coming back safely, they cheered and celebrated. Tortoise and Bird told the villagers about their adventure and how they made a new friend. The villagers were grateful and happy to know that they were safe once again. But Tortoise and Bird knew that they must always be ready for new adventures and challenges. They continued to watch over the village, always prepared to help and protect their friends. And so Tortoise and Bird lived happily in the village, always looking out for their friends, and the villagers loved them more than ever. Days turned into weeks, and the village returned to its peaceful routine. The villagers went about their daily tasks, always feeling safe knowing Tortoise and Bird were watching over them. But one day, Bird noticed something unusual while flying over the bush. She saw a group of strangers setting up camp at the edge of the forest. They had big bags and tools, and they seemed to be looking for something. Bird quickly flew back to the village to tell Tortoise. Tortoise asked strangers at the edge of the forest, Bird said, landing beside him. They have big bags and tools. I think they might be looking for something. Tortoise furrowed his brow. We need to find out what they are doing. If they are here to harm our village, we must be prepared. Bird agreed and flew back to the edge of the forest while Tortoise slowly made his way there. When Bird arrived, she perched on a high branch and watched the strangers closely. She saw them digging holes and setting traps. Bird realized they were looking for precious stones that were hidden deep in the ground. Bird flew down to Tortoise and whispered they are looking for precious stones and setting traps. If they dig too much, they might destroy the forest and hurt the animals. Tortoise nodded thoughtfully. We must stop them, but we need to be clever. Let's tell the villagers and come up with a plan together. Back in the village, Tortoise and Bird gathered everyone and explained the situation. The villagers were worried but determined to protect their home. They all agreed to work together. That night, while the strangers were sleeping, the villagers, guided by Tortoise and Bird, carefully filled the holes and covered the traps with leaves and branches. They made sure not to leave any trace of their work. The next morning, the strangers were confused to find their holes filled and their traps covered. They tried again, but each night, the villagers undid their work. After several days, the strangers became frustrated. One of the strangers said, this place is too strange. No matter how hard we try, we can't find the stones. Let's leave and look somewhere else. The other strangers agreed and they packed their bags and left the forest. The villagers cheered when they saw the strangers leaving. They knew their home was safe once again. Toto smiled and said, we did it together. We protected our village and the forest. Bird chirped happily, yes, and we made sure all the animals are safe too. The villagers celebrated with a big feast. They sang songs, danced and thanked Tortoise and Bird for their wisdom and bravery. But as the celebration went on, Tortoise noticed something in the distance. He saw smoke rising from the other side of the forest. Tortoise looked at Bird and said, there might be another danger coming. We must check it out. Bird nodded and took to the sky, flying towards the smoke to see what was happening. Tortoise, with his steady pace, followed along the path. The adventure was not over yet, and Tortoise and Bird knew they had to stay vigilant to keep their village safe. Bird flew swiftly toward the smoke, her keen eyes scanning the horizon. As she neared the source, she saw a group of people gathered around a large fire. These people looked worried and were trying to put out the flames that were spreading through the dry grass. Bird quickly returned to Tortoise, who was making his way steadily through the forest. Tortoise, there's a fire. People are trying to put it out, but it's spreading fast. We need to help them. Tortoise nodded, his eyes serious. Let's go quickly. We must help them stop the fire before it reaches the village. 
When Totos and Bird arrived at the scene, they saw that the people were struggling to control the flames. The fire crackled and roared, threatening to spread even further. Bird flew up to one of the people and said, We can help. We need to work together to put out this fire. The people were surprised to see a talking bird but quickly realized they needed all the help they could get. Bird flew to a nearby stream and dipped her wings in the water, then flew back to the fire, shaking the water onto the flames. Tortoise, using his strong shell, began to push dirt onto the fire, helping to smother the flames. The villagers, seeing what was happening, formed a line from the stream to the fire. They passed buckets of water along the line, throwing it onto the flames. With everyone working together, the fire began to shrink and finally went out. The people cheered and thanked Totos and Bert. One of the people, a kind woman named Nanaka, said, Thank you for helping us. We were so scared, but you showed us how to work together. Toto smiled and said, We are always here to help. Our village and the forest are important to all of us. We must protect them. Bird chirped in agreement. Yes, we are stronger when we work together, but we need to find out how the fire started. Neka nodded. We were cooking when a gust of wind blew sparks into the dry grass. We will be more careful from now on. Tortoise looked around and saw that the ground was very dry. We need to make sure this doesn't happen again. We should clear the dry grass and make a safe place for cooking. The people agreed and immediately started working on clearing the area. Tortoise and birds stayed to help, making sure that the new cooking area was safe. As they worked, Tortoise noticed a small rabbit looking scared and lost. He went over and gently asked, Little rabbit, what's wrong? The rabbit sniffled and said, My home was near the fire. I don't know where to go now. Bird flew down and said, Don't worry, little rabbit. We will help you find a new home. Totos and Bird led the rabbit to a safe, quiet spot in the forest where he could build a new burrow. The rabbit was very grateful and hugged Totus and Bird. With the fire out and everyone safe, Totus and Bird returned to the village. The villagers welcomed them back with cheers and hugs, grateful for their bravery and wisdom. As night fell, the village was peaceful once again. Totus and Bird sat together under the stars, watching over their friends. We did a good thing today, Bird said softly. Yes, Totos agreed, but we must always be ready to help. Our village and the forest depend on us. And so Totos and Bird continued their watch, always ready for the next adventure, always ready to protect their home and their friends.